In the wake of the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991, Russia found itself at a critical juncture, a nation in transformation, an economy in upheaval. It was within this turbulent era that a breed of influential individuals emerged, the Russian oligarchs. Powerful, wealthy, and pivotal, their ascent defined Russia's trajectory, etching their names into the annals of Russian history. This is the story of the rise of the oligarchs, a narrative that shaped the powerhouse that is modern Russia. Welcome back to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and outs of the world's elite, how they live and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. The oligarchs rise. The 1990s marked a daring transformation for Russia as it shifted from a tightly controlled state-driven economy to a free market system. This bold economic reform, known as privatization, aimed to dismantle unprofitable and debt-ridden state-owned enterprises, assuring in privately owned companies to propel the economy. Yet, in the absence of a well-defined regulatory framework, a few strategically connected individuals seized the opportunity, becoming the architects of a new era, the oligarchs. Armed with ambition, business acumen, and political connections, these opportunists ventured into strategic sectors such as energy, natural resources, media, and telecommunications. Through calculated acquisitions, their wealth grew exponentially, and they soon became synonymous with the term oligarchs resonating through the halls of power and the lives of everyday Russians. Initially designed to provide equal opportunity, the privatization process issued bonds to Russian citizens. However, only a privileged few, often tied to the KGB, had the resources to invest, laying the foundation for Russia's economic landscape. The oligarch's rise was not just a result of financial prowess, they recognized the power of alliances and political connections. This intricate web-spanning government corridors allowed them to sway policies, ink lucrative deals, and safeguard their interests amidst the winds of change. At the core of this transformation lay Russia's immense natural resources, a treasure trove that the oligarchs exploited, solidifying their economic empires. Complex financial maneuvers and offshore entities further augmented their fortune, enabling them to consolidate their gains and strengthen their grip on power. However, this ascent was not devoid of conflicts. As their influence grew, clashes emerged within this elite fraternity, often at odds with the state's vision. Vladimir Putin's rise to power in 1999 signaled a shift, igniting debates about the extent of oligarchic influence, marking a crucial turning point in their trajectory. The oligarchs, now deeply ingrained in Russian history, had altered the nation's course, leaving an indelible mark on its economic fabric and political landscape. Putin and the oligarchs In the turbulent landscape of post-Soviet Russia, a group of individuals rose to unparalleled power and influence, the oligarchs. As the country embraced economic reform, shifting from a state-controlled economy to a free market system, these ambitious figures seized the opportunity presented by privatization. During the late 1990s, Boris Yeltsin's presidency marked a significant period for both Russia and the oligarchs. Many of them supported his second term, allowing them to maintain their monopolistic hold over the country's key industries. However, the stage was set for a new leader, Vladimir Putin, whose rising popularity and impending ascent to power prompted a notable shift in allegiances. Sensing the winds of change, a significant number of oligarchs backed Putin's election in 1999, albeit unaware of the profound transformations that lay ahead. Putin's arrival marked a turning point, setting the stage for a fierce recalibration, confrontation, and power struggle that would significantly impact Russia's trajectory. The oligarchs, who had wielded considerable influence through their political connections and economic dominance, now faced a formidable adversary in Putin. Recognizing the concentration of power among this elite few, Putin embarked on a mission to reassert the state's authority and regain control over critical industries. The clash between Putin and the oligarchs epitomized a battle for supremacy. However, the oligarchs were not prepared to yield without a fight. Leveraging their formidable resources and strategic prowess, they defended their hard-won empires. Legal countermeasures, political maneuvering, 
and media campaigns became their tools to protect their acquisitions and sway public sentiment. Amidst this power struggle emerged a new element, the rise of the Silo Vicky. Comprising individuals with backgrounds in security and law enforcement, the Silo Vicky embodied a different kind of power rooted in security control and unwavering allegiance to Putin's vision. Hailing from agencies like military intelligence and the police, they represented discipline, hierarchy, and a pragmatic approach to governance. Prominent figures within the Silo Vicky fold, such as Igor Sechin and Dmitry Medvedev, wielded significant influence over Russia's political landscape. Their allegiance to Putin and his vision was paramount, leading to a significant shift in power dynamics. While the oligarchs had thrived on economic might and political connections, the Silo Vicky brought a new brand of authority grounded in security and unwavering loyalty to the state and its leadership. The fate of prominent oligarchs In the dramatic theatre of Russian politics, the tales of prominent oligarchs under Vladimir Putin's reign offer a vivid portrayal of risks and rewards for those who dare to challenge or align with Kremlin authority. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, a once influential oil tycoon, openly opposed Putin and funded opposition parties, only to face a swift and resolute response arrest, company dismantling, and a decade-long imprisonment. Boris Berezovsky, a former political kingmaker turned critic, met a mysterious demise in UK exile, emphasizing the high stakes of political dissent. Yet, those who aligned with Putin flourished. Roman Abramovich, an energy sector billionaire with strong Kremlin ties, expanded his business empire. Mikhail Prokhorov and Alisha Usmanov, oligarchs with close government connections, saw their fortune rise. Viktor Vexelberg, maintaining an amicable relationship with the Kremlin, became a prominent figure in Russia's business landscape. For these oligarchs, loyalty to Putin translated into an opulent lifestyle and significant influence. In this political realm, choices indeed shaped fates. The oligarch's lifestyle, Mikhail Prokhorov, a cosmopolitan figure with diverse interests, ventured into sports ownership, notably the Brooklyn Nets, illustrating his global reach. His active lifestyle extended to politics, running for the Russian presidency, alongside opulent residences in iconic destinations, reflecting his high-flying existence. Alisha Usmanov, rising through metals and mining, acquired a significant stake in Arsenal Football Club, propelling his international profile. Victor Vexelberg, deeply involved in natural resources and metals, epitomized the fusion of wealth and culture. After the Western sanctions, as Putin's aggression towards Ukraine triggered Western sanctions, Russian oligarchs faced a seismic shift in their opulent lives. Once entrenched within Putin's inner circle, their influence now collided with the might of international sanctions. Task forces like the European Commission's priests and seas and the international Russian elite's proxies and oligarchs repo task force united to freeze assets and disrupt financial lifelines fueling Putin's ambitions. The oligarchs' grandeur, previously unchecked, now collided with a rapidly changing geopolitical reality. Amidst these challenges, questions loomed. Could they alter Putin's trajectory, or were they bound by their entangled interests? The future remained uncertain, but one thing was clear. Putin's oligarchs faced a defining moment. If you are curious about Putin's world-class protective force, Let's delve into the enigma of Vladimir Putin's formidable bodyguards. I hope our insight into insane wealth of Russian oligarchs gave you a better idea of what someone with success and wealth can do. If you like our video, please leave a comment letting us know what you liked and why. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel to show your support and not miss any new upcoming content. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then dream big and shoot for the stars.